Greetings and hello Tagum City! Good afternoon to our viewers and listeners who are tuning in right now. Today, it's another episode full of learning and fun here in School on Air. I am your radio host, Teacher Jan Van Dave Taturo from La Filipina National High School. Hello once again to our school's division superintendent, Dr. Josephine El Fadul, and also to our assistant school's division superintendent, Dr. Melanie P. Estacio. Good afternoon. Before we proceed mga kastig, I would like to inform everyone that we can also be heard in 98.3 Gold FM. And you can view us in La Filipina National High School official Facebook page. Today, we will learn another concept in Science 8. Specifically, all about meteoroid, meteorite, and meteors. So are you ready mga kastig? Let's give the floor to our teacher broadcaster, Ma'am Karen Jane Sakatani. Hello students! How are you? Are you excited for another adventure? I bet you are. Join me, your teacher Karen Jane B. Sakatani, as we go along with another lesson on Science 8 on Earth and Space. But before we go on with our lesson, I would like you to get your self-learning module, pen, and paper so you can write all the things that you can learn from today's lesson. Got it? Great! Throughout our ancient recorded history, people have been fascinated at the heavens and their celestial phenomena. Recent advances in space and technology have allowed scientists coming from different backgrounds to collaborate on studying near-Earth objects. But how far do you know about it? Let us check your previous knowledge about Earth and space by answering our guessing game. You may write your answer on a piece of paper. In every question, you will be given 5 seconds. And when you hear the sound, then time is up. Let's start. Question number one. It is a luminous, big, dirty snowball composed of gas, rock, and dust wrapped around a big ball of ice. It is a luminous, big, dirty snowball composed of gas, rock, and dust wrapped around a big ball of ice. The timer starts now. The answer is... Comet. Question number two. It is called minor planets or planetoids. It is called minor planets or planetoids. Your time starts now. The answer is asteroid. Question number three. Comets and asteroids both orbit around the sun. Is it true or false? Comets and asteroids both orbit around the sun. Is it true or false? Your time starts now. The correct answer is true. Did you get all the items correct correctly? Good job! Have you seen a falling star? Did you wish upon it? What did you wish for? Have you tried to be a spectator of an amazing phenomena that only a meteor shower can make you feel the wonders of the sky? Let us learn together as we explore what meteors, meteorites, and meteoroids. Today, we will be guided with the following objectives. First, Describe the changes that happens to a fragment from a comet or asteroid as it enters Earth's atmosphere. Second, represent the relationship between a meteoroid, meteor, and meteorite using a diagram. And third, cite the importance of the discovery of meteorites to our life. Now what is a meteoroid? A meteoroid can be a small grain of sun or as big as a boulder. When it enters Earth's atmosphere, the air in front of the meteoroid heats up, causing materials to burn up. From Earth, these glowing materials appear as a streak of light or a fast-moving bright object that appears to have a tail, just like a comet. What differentiates the two is that when we see them in the sky, 
comet moves slowly and appears in the sky for a longer time. Also, a comet is difficult to see with the unaided eye because it is farther from Earth compared to a meteoroid entering Earth's atmosphere. What celestial space or object can a meteoroid come from? A meteoroid is a broken up rock and dust from either a comet, asteroid, the moon, or from Mars. What is a meteor? A meteor moves swiftly and seems to fall underground. It shoots from a point in the sky, making people think that that is a shooting or falling star. But actually, a shooting star is another name for a meteor. The truth is, a meteor is not a star at all. What is a meteor? It is a light phenomenon or a streak of light that occurs when a meteoroid burns up as it enters the Earth's atmosphere. Now why do meteor showers occur? When Earth passes through the tail of dust and gust left by a comet, the particles near or enter Earth's atmosphere and burns up in a lively light show, thus creating a spectacular meteor shower. Some meteor, like the Perseid and the Leonids, occur annually when Earth's orbit takes our planet through the debris path left along the comet's orbit. When a fragment from a meteoroid survives and it makes it to the ground, this space rock fragment is now called a meteorite. Most meteorites appear to have come from an asteroid. Now how are a meteor, meteoroid, and meteorite related? A meteoroid is the space rock fragment before it enters the Earth's atmosphere. When it enters the said atmosphere and burns up, a light phenomenon is observed and called a meteor. When a meteor or part of a meteor, meteoroid, survives passing through Earth's atmosphere, the space rock fragment that lands on Earth's crust is now called a meteorite. So, it's the same thing, only it has different names according to its location. So, kung naapa siya dito sa, la, sa gawas, sa ato ang atmosphere, naapa siya sa kawalangan, it is called a meteoroid. Once it enters our atmosphere and starts to burn up, it is now called a meteor. And if it survives, and bolansya sa to ang ground, it is now called a meteorite. Same object, different name. Just called, uh, it is just called different names. Got it? Okay, now that you have learned what is a meteoroid, meteor, and meteorite, I would like you to get again your pen and paper. We will do another activity which we call Place me where I belong. Shall we start? So let's develop. Let's make our diagram. On your paper, I would like you to draw a big circle. After that, inside that big circle, I would like you to draw a medium-sized circle. In between the space of the uh, big circle and medium circle, you label it as outer space. This time, draw again another small circle inside the medium-sized circle. Label the space between small and medium-sized circle as the Earth's atmosphere. And label the small circle as the Earth's crust. Now we will use this diagram to show where a meteoroid, meteor, and meteorite are most likely to be found. You use the letters X, Y, and Z to represent them respectively. You will be given one minute to do the activity.
Okay? Again, you use X for meteoroid, Y for meteor, and Z for meteorite. Your time starts now. Time is up. Let's reveal the answer. So, X mark should be placed within the, at the outer space. Y mark should be placed along the Earth's atmosphere. And the letter Z should be placed within the Earth's crust. Got it? Amazing! How's the learning exploration so far, students? Earlier, we have mentioned that meteorites are rocks from space that have landed on space on Earth's surface. But what makes meteorites important? Meteorites are of importance to scientists in studying the occurrence of different elements and compounds on Earth. This information is in turn important in studying our mineral resources, which is an important industry in our country. Generally, there are three types of meteorites, stony, stony iron, and iron. In the Philippines, there are only five meteorites that have been accepted internationally. So, meron ding na-discover sa ating lugar. So, the five were, the first one in Pampanga on the year 1859. So, it is um, a stony type of meteorite. Then, the meteorite Paitan on the year 1910, which is discovered in Paitan, Ilocos, which is also a stony type of meteorite. Kalibo, 1916, in Western Visayas, which is also a stony type of meteorite. And then, we also have the meteorite Pantar on year 1938, here in central Mindanao, which is a stony meteorite. And there is also found in Southern Tagalog, meteorite bondok on the year 1956, which is a stony iron kind of meteorite. The elements and compounds enumerated in the table show that meteorites are very rich in mineral resources. A comet or asteroid does not only bring with it materials from space, but also causes the earth rocks found in these areas to change in chemical composition. The presence of these meteorites and impact craters hold much potential for the mining industry, aside from being objects of scientific scrutiny. Are you still with me, students? So let's assess your learning today by answering the following questions. You may write it on a piece of paper. Let's start. Number 1. It is a fragment from a comet, an asteroid, moon, or even Mars that orbits around the Sun, following the orbit of its parent or source. A. Meteoroid B. Meteor or C. Meteorite It is a fragment from a comet, an asteroid, moon, or even Mars that orbits around the Sun, following the orbit of its parent or source. A. Meteoroid B. Meteor or C. Meteorite Number 2 
A meteor shower occurs when A. A meteor is about to get married B. The head of a comet hits the Earth's atmosphere C. The Earth passes through a swarm of dust, particles, and space the remnants of a comment once a year. Number three, it is a fragment of a meteoroid that survives through the atmosphere and head as it orbits and lands on Earth. A, meteorite, B, comet, or C, asteroid. It is a fragment of a meteoroid that survives through the atmosphere and head as it orbits and lands on Earth. A, meteorite, B, comet, or C, asteroid. So let's reveal our answers. For number one, the correct answer is A, meteoroid. For number two, the correct answer is the Earth passes through a swarm of dust, particles, and space to remnants of a comet once a year. And number three, A, meteorite. Did you get all the items correctly? Good job, students! For your assignment, I would like you to answer the question. Do you think there is a connection between the occurrence of a shooting star and the realization of your dreams? Share your thoughts and post it on social media. So that's all for today and thank you so much for sticking with me. And please make sure to be with us in the next episode only here on School on Air. Again, this is Teacher Karen saying, Great men are meteors designed to burn so that Earth may be lighted by Napoleon of France. Thank you so much, Ma'am Karen, for that very interactive discussion. Hope you have learned something today, students, and make sure to be with us only here in Salida Teleradio. Again, this has been your radio host, Teacher John Van Dave Taturo. Thank you and God bless us all.